Hello Power Apps Makers, this is Ahmed Saleh again and today I have a new news for you and a new feature for the data table control in the Power Apps Canvas Apps. Let's actually hop in and see this exciting new feature that now we can actually access the data inside the data table control. We can access the selected record inside the data table control or we can actually access a specific field in a specific column. How we do that? Let's hop in and see how we can do this. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Canvas app. I will call it data table. And then I'm gonna go ahead uh, to uh, use just the format to be tablet. First thing first, we have to go to the settings. Again, in the authoring version, I have the 3.23055018. And in the upcoming feature, if I go to data table, I will see that I have the data table here, enable improved data table control selection and value. This actually will enable us inserting a new data table control. This control provides the new field selection experience aligned with the form control. That's amazing. It also provides a new value property which allows suppressions to provide formatting and can collect value. That's actually great. So let's actually check it out and see exactly what it does. So the first thing I will go ahead and add a data and I will add a dataverse table called accounts. I already have pre-populated data in this table in dataverse. This is my table. Then I'm gonna go ahead to insert and I will type down data table. As you can see, it's preview. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the data table, select my accounts table that I just selected and immediately I can see my columns as usual, what it used to be, we cannot actually do anything with this control. You can just go ahead and scroll down and up and that's it. You cannot actually get any values or any data out of this. So now actually let's see how we do it work with the form control first. So to do that, let's actually go ahead and add a form control. I will add a form control right here in this white space area. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert. I will click edit form. And then I will bring my form right here and I will just align it with this data table control. The data source of this, it's going to be obviously the same table. And then the property that I need to use here. So let's actually change the columns to just have two right here. Okay, so I have the account name. I have the account number. I have the main phone and address city. That's it for now. You know, if you want to add other columns, you can go ahead and add other columns here. The same thing for the data table control that you can actually go and add different actually columns to this data table control. So now this form has an item property. As we know, it's going to be in the edit mode, as you can see here. And all what I want to go, I will go to the item property and then I will go ahead and type down my data table control name. And if I click dot, I will see this nice property or method right here which is selected so i'm going to go ahead and click selected and then that will actually immediately give me the selected record as you can see it's the adventure work right here so let's actually go ahead and make this a little bit bigger make this column here a little bit wider and select another as you can see and immediately actually i don't have to do anything else so it's actually i can select a record here and i can see it in my edit form control where you can obviously edit values and then submit this value back to the uh, uh, you know table. So let's actually do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a button and let's call this actually submit change or submit changes right here. And what we're gonna do here in this button right here, we're gonna just go ahead, use submit form and then I will pass form one. Let's go ahead and play. And then let's actually select the fourth copy, this one here. As I can see, we have the address called Renton. Let's actually just change the city. And then let's put Memphis. This is just amazing. So what happened is it's not only actually updated the record in the data source, it's also updated the record in here in my data table control. Let's actually check another one. So let's actually go to the city power light sample right here. And this time I'm gonna change the account number. So I'm gonna just put account 
number zero right this is just like let's say it's account number here and then go ahead actually click submit and immediately you can see actually it has changed here this is actually really nice feature really nice feature of this uh, control the data table uh, the other thing that we also have here in addition to the great property which is data table that selected and this great integration with the uh, edit form control uh, in the columns that you have inside the data table you have actually now the on select property so every time that you select something specifically to that column you might actually do a pop-up you want to run a flow you want to do whatever you want to do specifically if a certain column has been selected so this is just amazing i hope that you enjoyed this new feature this is still in preview and uh, if you do like it please like and subscribe and share this new feature with everyone and i will see you in the next tutorial